Okay, this next project that I'm going to show you is one that I worked on back in 2007. And it's for a Mary Kay company um, that wanted to provide a uh, basically a service um, where, you know, Mary Kay uh, directors <clears throat> and uh, salespeople could easily have their own website. So it, it sort of had uh, custom, uh, you know, websites that it created where they could just plug in their own content, et cetera, et cetera. Anyway, it called for building uh, a custom content management system. And for that task, I chose uh, the Zen framework, which in 2007 was very young. It wasn't even at a 1.0 release yet. Uh, and also uh, incorporated Flash and Flex and uh, Flash remoting uh, with AMF PHP. So at the time in 2007, as I said, it, it, it incorporated a lot of cutting edge technology. So um, unfortunately, the project was not completed because um, <clears throat> they ran out of budget. Uh, long story short, uh, there was another development firm uh, that they had worked with previous to me that they owed money to. And so we had to stop the project short. Uh, but uh, in any case, I'll show you here um, the the PHP side of it, the Flex side of it, uh, and the, the, the Flash remoting side of it. And so let me just go ahead and start here. Uh, with this custom content management system and show you kind of uh, what's going on. Let me log in here. And the colors might seem kind of washed out because I was still working on uh, uh, a PC as I designed this and so uh, for some reason I don't know why, but it looks so much more vibrant and bright on a PC screen than it does on a Mac. So if the color looks totally washed out on this I don't know why, but just for some reason it, it is. Uh, in any case, uh, let me go ahead and, and just give you an idea what's going on here is I built a content management system that was similar to how Joomla uh, is laid out with their menu structure and things. Uh, and I used the YUI um, interface components. Uh, I think, I, I'm not sure, if, I think it was version 2 at the time. Um, <clears throat> but um, basically using Joomla would have required us to reinvent the wheel and so I just built something that was leaner and meaner uh, but laid out similarly to it the way that the the menuing system and the way that the thing functions uh, and so as I said I used uh, uh, the Zen framework and the YUI components uh, to build this uh, on the uh, the regular web side of it and then flex to do the multimedia end of it and some flash as well. So let me go ahead and show you something here, um, a good example of on this end. Uh, yeah, the ACL here kind of shows you uh, a good piece of everything here, how I've set it up, um, just like the, you know, if you're familiar with how Joomla used to be laid out back at the time, this is just very, very similar. and. Uh, at the time also there were no layout components I had to do a lot myself the Zen framework barely had you know half or a third of what's in it now uh, so this was uh, a pretty big achievement for me at the time that I was proud of uh, and so basically just really nice simple uh, clean interface so like I said I didn't really uh, fully totally finish the product because um, the funding dried up but let me go ahead and show you um, on the on the flex side of things here this is really uh, neat. Uh, what I did was create a media manager and at the time I tried to model it uh, after iTunes uh, and uh, iPhoto and so you know this was right as Flex 3 had come out and just really everything here was cutting edge. It was hard to find information about working with uh, you know the new version of Flex and all of that at the time so I was really proud of the work that I did here. Uh, let me just show you some things here. Um, basically the way I've organized these fo uh, these folders <clears throat> um, you know I I did a lot here with with uh, uh, just to show you uh, let, let me give you an idea uh, you know it loads it's pulling these from the AMF PHP uh, you know communicating with the database and you know pulling the stuff in here but I did a lot of work to make this just like a real you know user interface like you'd work with on the desktop uh, did a lot with uh, you know animation and nice little effects and you know the trash can and the everything everything here is just totally 
uh, I did I did a lot of work to try and make this you know like using iTunes or or iPhoto or something like that to be very easy. Uh, you know you got the sorting and the filtering and you know just lots of stuff. The uh, you know naming the photos, all the information about them. You know uploading new photos, editing the photos. Uh, there was just a lot of uh, I guess really. Uh, you know the type of stuff that you'd expect to see uh, in a desktop application and I was like I said very proud of this let me show you here uh, these folders here I've allowed to um, let me show you one like this custom folder here you know, I allowed them from this interface to set whether the images in it would be cropped and the dimensions and whether they'd be scaled and all kinds of stuff like that. There's just a lot, a lot of work done here on the user interface side uh, to make it to where it was just, you know, essentially idiot proof. And uh, anyway, so ultimately, like I said, the project wasn't finished. But let me go ahead and show you from the front side how this was organized and the plan and the way this uh is all laid out here so let me go ahead and pull up first let me show you uh in zen studio here <clears throat> the php um the way this was organized uh it was just like a typical uh zen framework application at the time um and uh in essence here i wrote a a main class that initialized everything here this ucom class and it sort of initialized and had a lot of you know help for helper functions and things to just get everything that was needed to configure the application uh, register values you know parse configuration files all that kind of stuff Zen application didn't exist at the time so really just um, this was my main hub here for getting the application uh, configured let me show you an example of I was again proud of this YUI uh, menu because I, I wrote a um, you know a class here that took all the parameters and uh, generated the necessary CSS and HTML uh, for the YUI menuing system and uh, I don't know why I've always enjoyed uh, working with the you know drop down menus and different kinds of uh, you know menuing systems um, but in any case I uh, you know wrote that custom class to handle that um, and I thought what I would do is just show you since I showed you the uh, um, the ACL the user, user access controls on the uh, the back end here let me just walk you through the model view and controller of that particular thing uh, so you can see you know just you know how this is laid out you know just using standard conventions and uh, trying to be as consistent as I can with the way that I coded it this is the model here for the ACL uh, you know operations on the database tables um, and I'll show you the the view again at the time Zend layout didn't exist so I had a two-step view where I had to render different widgets and things um, so I, I was proud of that as well um, that I came up with a solution for that before they even had Zend layout and so it really you know turned out well like I said for 2007 I was proud of the way that um, you know I chose to solve these particular problems it was just one solution but but uh, you know it wound, wound up being pretty efficient and working out you know pretty well um, and then here's the controller for that same thing uh, initializing and and uh, you know just the different you know if you're familiar with the way the Zen framework works the different actions uh, for the ACL rendering the view and setting up the uh, variables and things needed now on the remoting side um, uh, you know, on the public side is I used AMF PHP and I just decided to show you here the main uh, media manager service here and that kinda has a lot of the stuff in it uh, all of the um, uh, things for handling the files getting the file types getting the categories and the images and 
and uh, folders and the information about the, the folders and everything here. Um, and obviously this application was intended to, to, to manage the videos and the documents as well, but it was all going to use the same exact, uh, you know, code base and then just have some extensions for each different specific, uh, uh, you know, difference that was needed for the video for the documents. And let me show you in Flex um, here just a second. Uh, Flash Builder. Here we go. This was uh, Flex 3.0 and so it was very young in flex the the flex uh, applications were very bulky still at the time and it was a lot harder to organize them so the way that i did this particular one uh... as you can see here i divided it up instead of having this massively long uh... main file that pulled things in i i, I divided things up into into several uh... you know more manageable uh... action script files where I had, you know, common functions and different things uh, that were used by the main application and used by things. Um, anyway, like I said, at the time it was hard. You'd have these big bulky files that were hard to read, and so I just I tried to make this as as readable as I could. And um, you know, also at the time, uh, really, I just uh, was, um, you know, like I said. Flex 3 was was very new and so you know there were probably better ways to do everything that have been discovered at this point but you know it was really kind of just the wild west of flex development at the time it seemed like uh, coming up with best practices for things so you know I but all the custom styling of things coming up with custom components here's the service configuration for the AMF PHP where I had defined and the application worked no matter what I had just one version of it that depending on what the you know address of of the the website was knew whether it was in production mode or test mode uh, or live um, and uh, so in any case or development mode um, but you know I, I developed all these custom you know everything from custom components uh, to um, you know the the custom modules, custom events. Uh, you know I organized all of my at the time I was doing business under the uh, name New Vibe Solutions, so uh, I had all of my classes organized under that. Uh, anyway, it was a fairly fairly big project, and and uh, like I said, this is just some of the behind the scenes of it. But you can see. You know, just all action script three, obviously, and uh, lots of components there from working with the remoting uh, between Flex and the AMF. Um, you know, PHP at the time, which now there's Zend AMF, which uh, you know is also another uh, choice for that in PHP. Um, but really, um, like I said, overall, I was very proud of this uh, you know project, and for some reason. Um, let me see, I guess. Do, 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 do. I don't know here if I got all these files back out to demonstrate everything here on the uploading, but I, I'm pretty sure that, uh, you know, it, it, it was just a really fun project to, uh, to work on, but it wasn't quite completed. But hopefully it gives you an idea of some more flex work that I've done. And, and, uh, you know, there's just a lot that you can do with Flex. So let me know if you have any more questions uh, about this particular project.